Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. You've landed on Jill and Beauty Therapy and we are gonna have ourselves a wig chat today. We're gonna be looking at Raquel Welch's Upstage, a completely 100% hand tied cap. It has the cream of the crop when it comes to all the features that you're gonna be getting with this particular one. It is not a new style for the line at all, but it is one of the most popular styles in the Raquel Welch line. I'm gonna take a look at it today in a color that's new to me in this style, which is the shaded cappuccino. So let's get going, looking at upstage in the Raquel Welch line in the color shaded cappuccino. Upstage has always been offered as a 100% hand-tied cap. That's not new at all. It is really the feature in this wig that I think sets it apart from many others that are maybe very similar in style. With Upstage, you're getting, let's take a look at this cap here. The 100% hand-tied cap, that means each and every fiber is hand-sewn in this cap. And what does that give you really? It gives you the most realistic experience really when it comes to wig wearing. Because those fibers are sewn in one at a, at a time, it replicates our own hair when it comes to how it moves, you know, how it feels on the head. It gives you the freedom of not really caring or having to worry about wefts maybe exposing themselves, the, you know, if you're like me and you like to style them and clip them back or anything like that, you just don't have to worry about the wefts because there are none. So along with that very realistic feel in a 100% hand-tied cap, you have that as well. This also comes with the temple to temple lace front. That means that you're gonna have that realism right along the hairline. So if you do, you know, like to kind of wear it back, then it looks like it's growing just right out of your scalp, right in the very front. That gives a lot of us this sense of freedom and it, and it really boosts that confidence level when you have a beautiful lace front. Lace fronts are not created all equal. I can say that. You can rest assured with any Raquel Welch lace front wig that you are getting a beautiful lace front. You know, you're paying for that feature. The 100% hand tied cap, that lace front, it all adds up. So if it's in here, I want it to be done very well. And every feature in this wig is done very well. So along with that lace front, we have a full crown of monofilament, and that's that material you see, you know, right here in front. If you're new, you probably don't know what that is. Monofilament, and this is hand tied as well. What it does if it's done well, is it anywhere it parts, it looks like your scalp. And so that, again, is wonderful for that confidence level. It is a beautiful feature, and some wigs have monofilament, but maybe only on kind of like a left side part. So at least when you part it there, you know, you do have that realistic scalp appearance. Now, there are some brands that do monofilament very well. There are other brands that don't, in my opinion, and what that means for me is it's too dense. There's too many fibers sewn into that monofilament. So when it does part, you sort of can't see that monofilament, which means you can't really see the scalp like appearance because it's just too dense. There are just too many fibers. You know, I actually like to see my hand a little underneath that monofilament when I'm looking at it like this. I actually you know, kind of, I want to see my hand underneath the monofilament. Now, if it's a double monofilament, even if it's done really well, you're probably not gonna see your hand because it's got two layers of monofilament. This is a single monofilament and I can hold it up to the light and I can see right through it, you know, and I can see my hand and that is what I wanna see. There are some wigs that if you're new, you have that monofilament, you take it out and you're like, holy cow, that looks like it's missing a lot 
of fibers like the hair itself is so thin there you're thinking you got a bad one no 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 you kind of want that because it looks incredibly realistic when you get it on anyway so this is this is done very well so it has the temple to temple lace front it has this very very soft temple or ear tab here it's very soft sort of a velvet material we have an extended nape down here with the pull tabs that are velcro and a lot of us prefer those over the bra strap strap kind so i love when we have this really nice extended nape back here it's more comfortable this is beautifully soft material it really cuts down on that itching so this cap has it all it really does it has every single feature you could ever want and you pay for that so it is not an inexpensive piece that is for sure the other thing about this is it is a heat friendly fiber so you can take some heat to it you can alter the style a bit straighten it curl it whatever so there is a little method to that you don't go at it like you would regular hair when it comes to the heat it has to be cold set a lot of a lot of you will be like you know i took heat to it i tried to curl it and it didn't stay it did nothing well you either have to hold it there and blow on it to cool it off or you pin it there until it cools and then it is set and it actually comes back after you wash it you've you've added a new memory to those synthetic fibers which brings me to this this is a synthetic fiber this is not human hair this is not a human hair blend it is 100 percent synthetic so if you're wondering what i have on my head right now this is ignite by john renault in the color palm springs blonde it is one of my all-time favorites actually haven't had it on my head in a very long time um and it really is the cutest the cutest wig ever I mean it has been literally my favorite wig for years I love this wig I'll do a quick spin before I take it off and we'll take a look at upstage all kinds of adorable with this wig okay all right let's go ahead and take a look at upstage on my head so one thing that you'll hear a lot and it, it holds true a lot of the time is hand tied caps tend to fit more snugly uh, they don't have as much stretch and that is all true however with this particular one honestly it fits a little bigger than i'm used to and i'm just going to put that out there you can refer to my measurements my kind of head measurements down in the description box if you kind of want to get an idea as to the size of my head but yeah it, it definitely um just it fits me a little bigger than some averages that i have okay so i do like to pull out some of my very gray hair i'm noticing it blends pretty well if you're a little gray as well shady cappuccino palm springs blonde here in the john renault line even the um shaded biscuit in the raquel welch line gray hair kind of blends really nicely with those colors so it's okay so this wig now i have actually worn this several times since i received it uh, and it's still as soft as can be just know that these HD fibers do need to be babied uh, and they tend to break down a lot faster than your traditional non heat friendly fibers absolutely 100% cannot argue with that just got to baby them make sure you you comb them out really carefully probably through the day as you wear it and definitely when you take it off your head with a pick like this there now this I really probably need to have this kind of sit out on a rack because it does have box hair it kind of likes it's kind of wanting to come to this funny point kind of right here that is box hair and i could either take a little heat to that and and get that out or just set it out on something rather than when i take it off i tend to wrap them up and put them back in their boxes that's kind of what i do 
This is a put on your head and go. Absolutely gorgeous. Not a lot needs to happen here. However, I do enjoy styling this one and putting it back, putting clips in it. Uh, taking full advantage of this gorgeous lace front. So while it is a traditionally chic, extremely gorgeous wig, and again, not a lot needs to happen to, to go out the door looking polished and, and beautiful and carefree. You know, it's not so polished where it looks staunch or whatever that word is I'm trying to think of. Um, no, it's got great movement. It looks like you, you know, blow dried your hair, put some big hot curlers in it and then ran, ran your fingers through it and just went out the door because your hair's that great. It's great being a wig wearer because your hair is that great all the time. So yeah, I mean, here we go. Out of the box, on my head. Yes, I have worn this a few times. I have not altered it in any way, have not trimmed it, cut it, thinned it. I have not put different style, ver you know, with the heat to it or anything. This is really how it came. So while it's like this, I'm gonna go ahead, do a spin for you so you can see what this absolutely stunning wig looks like all the way around. It is beautiful and it feels incredibly comfortable on you're wearing a wig so you are in essence wearing a hat however some of them can you can feel them a little more than others these hand tied caps are really comfortable you know a lot of women choose to build their wardrobe wig wardrobe with just 100 percent hand tied caps and i can understand that if you can afford to do that i definitely get it others because they're up there in price. They have their chosen favorites for special occasions and they bring them out for those, you know, wanting to kind of stretch that life to be as long as possible. There are tricks to these HD fibers to keep them with you as long as possible. You, you sometimes do want to add some heat to these because it will smooth out the fibers, you know, as they break down and, and kind of revive them you know, they're meant to have a little heat from time to time. And, and that is something that I am reminded of by many of you. It's like, you do have to add heat sometimes because it does revive them. It smooths out the fibers that tend to break down and then they get a uh, kind of crispy looking and feeling adding heat kind of softens them out and smooths out those fibers. So, you know, but like, I love this. There's nothing I want to do different about this so I tend not to put a lot of heat to my heat friendly fibers, but it does help to prolong their life. You, this gives you incredible bouncy body. <laughs> um, it just, a lot of this has to do with this 100% hand tied cap here. The movement is so realistic. These fibers are incredibly realistic. Uh, and it's just a beautiful style. It's, it does have a lot of body, but it's not over the top. Hand tied caps means no permatees at all. Sometimes 100% hand tied cap for me is not the way to go because they tend not to have that body that I like. But with that said, this particular style gives me quite a bit of body and I don't miss the permatease at all. Look at this lace front. <sighs> Stunning. Such a beautiful, beautiful lace front. Not only is the lace front itself done really well, but they've woven those light and darker colors right along the hairline. And that's my favorite way to wear and have my lace fronts. I don't want it to all be dark and I don't want it to all be light. And this has this wonderful blending of both with beautiful highlighting right around the hairline. And this is a wonderful length. It's pretty dang versatile. You know, you can do quite a bit with this one. 
Um, it's enough to where you can take the whole thing and clip it back here with a bit of a bigger clip, something like that. Let's just do it, shall we? I want it kind of back here a little, I think. Okay. So it's definitely long enough to do something like this. And I have not looked at it back there, so I have no idea what it looks like, but I definitely would. I always look and see, even if I'm not styling it per se, but I take a mirror before I leave the house, look at all sides, make sure everything's okay, because I cannot tell you how many times, if I hadn't have done that, I would have gone out with a tag stinking out in the back. I don't tend to cut the tags off and I'm not sure why. I think, I don't know. I don't know why I don't. I'm afraid maybe that I'll forget this is John. I, I don't know, but I tend to leave them on and, and I just always have, but sometimes they're poking out and I wouldn't have known it if I wouldn't have looked. So please remember to do that. And for sure, if you're styling it, definitely. Because like I said, if it's not hundred percent hand tied, a weft is just like, blaring at me you know when I look around it's like oh Christ so yeah definitely give it a once over you do don't you I mean with your normal hair if you style it you you kind of want it you don't want it to just look good here you you really got to make sure it looks good everywhere same with when you wear your wig don't go out of the house without doing that no matter how much in a rush you are But, you know, I think where this style shines is just letting it do its thing. It is cut so beautifully. It's not, you know, an all one length bob at all. It has the layers all in the right places. Gives you incredible movement. It's quite dreamy. It is just absolutely stunning. It is elegance, yet you can make it look casual, but it is really one of those out of the box, on your head, elegant, beautiful, timeless styles that you can count on every time you put it on your head. What is there to say about this? There's, I, you saw me, you know, I took the clips out and did this with my fingers and I was done. If I were going out, I'd probably put some hairspray on this and head out the door feeling pretty dang good. More than good. I feel very put together. <laughs> I mean, have fun with the makeup and then you put this on your head. You're doing good. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today as we took a deeper dive into Upstage, a classic, beautiful wig by Raquel Welch in the unmeasurably gorgeous color, Shady Cappuccino. Thank you guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.